the Earth's temperature is rising quickly because of the carbon dioxide emissions that we send into the atmosphere. The main culprits are burning fossil fuels and deforestation. This is leading to critical changes in our environment like increasingly devastating heat waves and hurricanes. That is what we know as climate change. Carbon credits were proposed in climate negotiations as a way to reduce carbon dioxide in the atmosphere. So what are they? A carbon credit is a unit of measurement that represents 1,000 kilograms of carbon dioxide theoretically removed or prevented from reaching the atmosphere. The process of using carbon credits to compensate for emissions is called carbon offsetting. For example, an airline may purchase carbon credits to claim it offsets the emissions from its planes. So how are offsets made? Offsets are supposed to be generated by forest conservation or clean energy projects. Every project should be able to show that it generates savings in carbon dioxide emissions. But many carbon credits on the market fail to pass this most basic test. Some carbon offsetting projects have also been linked to serious human rights violations. Indigenous peoples have been displaced from their land. Violent repression has been used against those opposing these projects. With such serious problems, there is ample reason to doubt whether carbon offsetting is the urgent climate action the world needs. If carbon markets remain, they must help us address climate change while protecting human rights. Governments negotiating them should put in place robust rules. All carbon credits on the market need to demonstrate tangible progress towards reducing emissions. Projects have to respect and protect the human rights of the communities where they're implemented. If rights violations occur, communities need access to effective and forcible remedies.